In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Eucharist is the source and summit of our Christian life. In the sacrament, Jesus gives his body and blood to be our food and to eternal life. With this living bread, we experience Jesus' salvation and God's peace, receive power to give ourselves in loving service, and gain strength for our spiritual journey. When we gather in Jesus' name at the Eucharist, we proclaim that we are truly God's people. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. O God, who in these wonderful sacraments have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offering to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it aloud to the people, who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord? For all the good he has done for me, the cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. 
Gracious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the call of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heaver's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, he is mediator of the new covenant, since a death has taken place for the refluence from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples says to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang tao ay hindi lamang nilalang para maging anak ng mundo. Ang tao ay nilalang para maging anak ng Diyos. 
Kaya kahit na yung mga pangkaraniwang ginagawa niya dito sa mundo, sapagkat siya ay anak ng Diyos, ay nagkakaroon ng isang malalim at matinding kahulugan. Alimbawa, ang pagkain. Ang pagkain para sa mga tao ay hindi lamang ginagawa para mabusog. Ang pagkain ay nagiging okasyon din para sa mga tao upang magsama-sama at magsimula magtatag, magpalawig ng kanilang pakikipagkaibigan. Pagmamahalan at pagmamalasakit sa isa't isa. Sapagat yan ang prinsipyo ng tunay na magkakaibigan. Walang ayawan, walang iwanan. Kaya nga, pag tayo kumakain, ibig nating kasabay at ating inaanyayahan ay mga kaibigan. Hindi kayo nagkakaroon ng party na mga inaanyayahan nyo, puro mga kaaway nyo. O naghahapuna na puro mga kalaban nyo, ang kasabay nyo sa pagkain. Mapanganim, baka mamiya malasun kayo. Ang inyong iniimbita lang sa kainan ay yung mga taong tinuturing yung kaibigan. Nagmamalasakit at handa na itaya maging ang buhay niya para sa inyong kapakanan. At sapagkat nagmamalasakit na handa na itaya pati ang buhay niya sa pagmamalasakit sa inyo, yung mesa ay hindi lang nagiging mesa, nagiging altar. Sapagkat ang altar, yan ay lugar ng pag-aalay. Naalay mo ang iyong buhay sa iyong minamahal. Sapagkat yung buhay at pagmamahal sa mga taong anak ng Diyos ay nagkakaisa. Kapag mahal mo yung isang tao, Ayaw mo siyang mamatay. Gusto mo siyang mabuhay. Kaya nga tinutustusan mo ang paglago ng buhay niya dito sa mundo o kahit man siya sa mamatay, hindi mo pababayaan siyang mamatay na lang. Gusto mo siyang mabuhay na maguli. Ganyan na nangyari sa pag-ibig sa atin ng Diyos. Sinubaybayan ang ating pamumuhay dito sa mundo at bagamat hindi niya tinanggal ang kamatayan, binuhay niya tayo muli sapagkat kapag kamahal mo isang tao, hindi mo pababaya ang mamatay. Kaya nga ang bati mo sa mga minamahal mo lagi eh, mabuhay ka. At kapag kakalaban mo, nagalit na galit ka at muhing-muhi ka, ang sigaw mo, mamatay ka na sana. Yun. Mabuhay ka. Kaya ang unang-unang pagpapakasakit ng isang nagmamahal na kaibigan, e eh kahit na mapanganib, itataya ang buhay niya alang-alang sa minamahal. At yung pagpapakasakit eh, nagsisimula sa mesa na nagiging simbolo ng altar. Ah, oh, katulad ngayon natin, ano, yung altar na yan, korting mesa. Sapagkat noong unang panahon, nung hindi pa tayo nagmamadali, na ginagawa nating araw ay gabi at gabi at araw, nasa takda ang ating pagkain, di ba? Di katulad ngayon, madalian ng pagkain, fast food, kanya-kanyang bandihado, kanya-kanyang oras ng pagkain, kanya-kanyang sulok na pinagkakainan. Nung araw, nadatnang ko pa yan, E eh nasa takdang panahon talaga ang pagkain ng isang pamilya. Pagdating ng orasyon, lasais, inaasaha, nando na kaming mga magkakapatid. Aharap yung aming ina at ama at magsisimula na ang pagkain. Hapunan. May seremonyas pa yan. May dasal bago kumain. At may maliit na talumpati yung 
tatay ko na tatandaan ko pa o anak itong pagkain to'y galing sa aking matapat na pamumuhay ha? galing ito sa malinis na pawis hindi nakaw ang pinakakain ko sa inyo kung hindi sa matapat na pamumuhay o, ayan yung pagkain yung inihanda sa inyo. O, eh bakit ganun ang tabas ng dila ng tatay ko? Sapagat nung araw may kasabihan, kaya matigas ang ulo ng bata at di masunurin, pasaway, eh galing sa nakaw, yung pinakakain dyan. Kaya nga kapag kami, pasaway sa magulang, kasabihan ng tatay ko, hindi ko naman kayo pinakakain ng nakaw, ha? Bakit ang tigas-tigas ng mga ulo ninyo? Ganun yung araw. Kaya yun. Pinamumukha, sabi ng tatay namin, itong pagpapakasakit ko sa inyo. Gusto ko kayong mabuhay ng mahusay at malinis. Kaya yung pinapakain ko sa inyo, e galing sa tapat na pamumuhay. Kahit na ano man yan, kahit kang kung igalunggong, araw-araw, eh, hindi mo masasabing yan ay galing sa mga maling patakaran sa buhay. Yung nanay ko naman, kasama rin sa pagpapakasakit. Ano yun nung araw, ano? Wala naman yung mga ganyang gadgets na katulad ng ginagawa natin ngayon. Pwede kang pumito habang nagluluto. Lalagay mo lang sa timer. Yung inyong mga microwaves o ano paman. Nung araw talaga, ang mga kalandi ihip. Ha? Kung hindi kusot, eh talagang yung kahoy. Kaya yung nanay ko, bago makapagluto ng kung ano man, nag-aamoy usok, nag-aamoy bawang, nag-aamoy sibuyas. Kaya pag hinihanda ng pagkain ko, ang tatay ko, nakikita ko dun sa pagkain yung pawis ni ama. At tinignan ko yung pagkain. Ang namamasdan ko, yung amoy ni ina. Pawis ni ama, ang amoy ni ina. Simbolo ng pagpapakasakit ng mga magulang ko para mabuhay. Kaya hindi ka pwedeng umayaw at sasabihin mo, kangkong na naman, galunggong na naman. Aba, pagtingin mo doon sa kakangkong yung galunggong, eh, hindi na kangkong at galunggong ang nakikita mo. Nakikita mo yung pawis ni amang pinatulo. At yung pagsisikap ng nanay mo, kahit na kangkong yung galunggong yan, eh, pasarapin para kayo, eh, maganang kumain. Pagkatapos, eto ka, magdadabog ka at sasabihin mo, kangkong lang, galunggong lang. Magpapasalamat ka. Natuturuan yung batang magpasalamat. Hindi nyo ba nakikita yan sa misa? Ganyan din. Kaya mas madali nung araw ituro kung ano ibig sabihin ng misa. Hayan, nandiyan dyan ng Diyos. Inialay sa inyo. Hindi lamang pangkaraniwang pagkain. Dugo at katawan niya. Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang sakripisyo sa krus ng kayo'y mabuhay nang walang hanggan at hindi kayo mamatay sapagkat ang pag-ibig niya ay walang hanggan kaya wala rin kamatayan. Kaya ano dapat na makita naman sa atin? Pasasalamat! Kaya nga ang tawag sa misa, Eucharistia. Ano ang sabihin ng Eucharistia? Salitang Griego. Nang ibig sabihin ay pasasalamat. Eucharistia, pasasalamat. Sa pamamagitan ng misa, tinuturoan ng taong magpasalamat. Bakit kailangan turuan pa taong magpasalamat? Hindi lika sa tao ang tumanaw ng utang na loob. Kaya ta, kinakailangan pang ituro magpasalamat. O dyan sa mga eskwelahan, eskwelahan namin, makikita mo dyan sa mga bata. Minsan may mga candy ay kong dalat, bibigyan ko yung kindergarten ng candy, kukunin yung candy, pagkatapos itatakbo, hindi ba nila ako sulyapan? At magsabi ng thank you. Dapat turuan pa yung batang magsabi ng thank you. 
Kaya lang magsasalita ng bata yung thank you kung nandun yung magulang, kakalawitin uli yung bata. Ibabalik uli sa akin, sabi bago ka maglaro, ano muna sasabihin kay father? Saka doon lang mahala, maaalala, ah, thank you father. Kung hindi pa ipaalala, hindi likas eh. Kaya ituturo pa. Kung likas yan, hindi na tinuturo. Parang bibi. Yung bibi, likas ang lumangoy. Kaya pagkasilang pa lang ng bibi, itapon mo sa ilo, lalango yan. Hindi mo na dapat ituro. Dahil likas sa bibi, ang lumangoy. Pero yung magsabi ng thank you, magpasalamat, yung bata, pagbuka ng bibig at pagsasalita, yung ba unong sasabihin sa inyo, mga magulang, thank you mommy, thank you daddy. Ituturo nyo pa, paulit-ulit. Kung walang hiya, hindi babalik para magpasalaman. O kaya may misa, minsan man lang sa isang linggo, babalik tayo para magpasalamat sa Diyos. Puro ba naman kamalasan ang binigay sa atin ng Diyos? Wala ba kayong makikita ang kabutihang binigay sa atin ng Diyos na puro kamalasan? Kaya tayo nadidepressed eh. Puro kamalasan ang binibilang natin. Naghahanap tayo ng wala. E eh, talagang pag ikaw yung nagbilang ng wala, mabubuang ka. Hindi naman nag naghanap ka ng wala. Wala ako nito, wala ako niyan, wala ako ni Re, wala ako niyan. Sino nagbilang ng wala? Paano mo mabibilang ang wala? Bilang, bilangin mo yung nagkaroon ka. Kung meron ka, wala ka ba namang meron kahit ano? Na hindi mo dapat ipasalamat? Salamat po Diyos ko, buhay pa ako. Salamat po Diyos ko, kahit pa paano. Malusog ako sa gitna ng pandemya. Maraming pong salamat, Panginoon. Hindi ba dapat ipasalamat yun? Nasasaan. Ang mga taong dapat magpasalamat sa Diyos. Minsan lang isang linggo, dapat ituro yon Kaya nga ginawa ang Santa Misa, Eucharistia, para tu matuto tayo magpasalamat. Kung kayo, sumasakit ang loob nyo sa mga anak nyo, na hindi man lang kayo naaalala, lalo na sa pagtanda nyo, nakatakot-takot ang hirap na ginawa nyo, na hindi man lamang magpadala ng card sa inyo pag birthday nyo. May ilagay nyo ang pwesto nyo sa Diyos na ginawa lahat para sa atin, na walang bumabalik para magpasalamat, at sinisisi pa siya sa lahat ng mga nangyayaring sila din naman ang may gawa. Bakit kami ginawa ng pandemya ang ganito? Eh, kinalikot ba naman natin ang kalikasan? Eh, o haya. O, ilan na nagpapasalamat? O kaya may misa. Kaya tayo naririto, magpapasalamat tayo. Ang pinakamasarap na pasasalamat, eh kung, hina, kung ano hinanda ng Diyos, pasalamatan natin. Sabi nga ng mga magulang natin, kung ano meron, magpakaligaya ka. Di ba? O kaya yung tatay at nanay ko, oh, ang kakayanin lang ikang kung igalunggong. O, oh, ede. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Daddy. Sarap ito. Bakit ako maghahanap ng hamon at keso? At sisisihin ko yung nanay at tatay ko, hindi ako. Sana ibang nanay na tatay ko, naging nanay at tatay ko. Kung ano nandun? O kaya, hinarap tayo. May kumukuha ba? O kaya tayo nangungumun yun. Pasasalamat yun. Hinanda ng Diyos ang kanyang katawan at dugo sa anyo ng tinapay at alak. O, oh, ayan. Nangumunyon kayo, magpalakas kayo ng inyong espiritu. Magpalakas kayo sapagkat marami kayong gagawin sa labas. May misyon kayong gagawin. O yun, pasasalamat din yun. Ang pag-ibig nagsisimula sa bahay pero hindi natatapos doon. Kaya natin tinuturo yung mga kasambahay natin na magmahal 
mga anak natin, mga kapatid natin na umibig, para yun ibahagi sa labas ng bahay. Kaya tingnan nyo, ang tawag sa Misa, Eucharistia, Misa. Ano ibig sabihin ng Misa? Misyon. Sinusugo kayo. Kaya hindi kayo pinapanatili dito sa simbahan. Tingnan nyo, pagkatapos nyo mga umunyon, ang bilis-bilis na ng Misa. Ah, maglilinis lang ng kinainan yung pare. Pagkatapos, kaprisitong dasal. Tapos, sasabihin sa inyo, tapos na ang Misa. Humayo kayong papayapa. Pinaalis kayo. Ako nga eh, naku, ako nga mag masusunod. O sasabihin ko pa sa inyo, tapos na ang Misa. Ano pang tinutunganga nyo rito? Humayo kayo. Huwag kayong maging katoliko sarado na nagbabanal-banalang kayo sa loob ng basilika ng manawag paglabas nyo. Lumalabas lahat ng mga sungay at mga buntot natin. Ano natanggap nyo dito sa misa? Si Kristo. Hindi, ipakita nyo katatanggap nyo si Kristo. Kung ikaw may bahay, maging pasinsyosa ka sa mga kasambahin mo. At mga anak mo dyan sa bahay, hindi yung pagpanik mo. Pagkatapos ng misa, pagpanik mo sa bahay at nakakita ka ng ikagagalit ng kaiinit ng ulo mo. Magpupuputa ka na. Yung mga katulong mo sa bahay, nagtataka sa ang bagaling yan. Ba't ganyan ang bunga nga niyan? Hindi mo ba ikaw nakita? Kasi simba lang yan sa manawag, nakapulupot pa yung rosaryo. Aba, eh walang epekto. Baka kayo eh, opisyal ng gobyerno. Meron pa kayong estatwa ng Our Lady of Manawag dyan sa inyong cabinet, sa, mes sa mesa ninyo. Oh. Eh, nagiging dekorasyon lang, sapagkat doon sa mesa yun, doon din na doon ang suhula, nakikita nung estatwa ng Our Lady of Manawag kung kailan ang kabigan dyan. Oh, ano klase yan? Ano yung estatwa yan? Dekurasyon? Ano ito? Sabihin yung pangungumun yun, dapat may epekto. Lumalabas dito sa basilika at pinamamahagi sa mga dapat pamahagian. Para din yung mga anak nyo, kain ang kain, hindi naman tumataba. Ano suspecha nyo? Abnormal. Kain ka ng kain, hindi ka naman tumataba. Talaga ikaw marami kang bulate. Eh ganyan din yung mga katolikong kumunyon ng kumunyon. Pagkatapos, Diyos ko, skandaloso, mga buhay sa labas. Sabihin ng mga tao, eh, katoliko yan. Eh, sarado pa yan, sarado. Naging sarado yung pagkakatoliko. Yung kanyang katolik, pagiging katoliko, nandun lang sa loob ng simbahan. Paglabas, iba na. Hindi yan ang kailangan katoliko natin. Ang katoliko natin kailangan, yung katoliko abierto, bukas, kaya nga kayo sinusugo. Tapos na ang misa. Hindi lang itong manawag ng basilika ang dapat maging banal. Saan kayo pupunta pagkatapos? O ayan. Sa bahay. O pabanalin nyo yung bahay ninyo. Sino magpapabanal? Kayo. Sapagkat daladala nyo si Kristo. Saan ka pupunta? Kawani po ako ng BIR. O sige, pabanalin mo yung BIR. Sapagkat daladala mo din si Kristo. O saan ka pa pupunta? Palengke po. Pabanalin mo ang palengke. Bakit? Daladala mo si Kristo sa palengke. Yan ang misa. Makakalong negosyo lang ng pare ito. Yang misa nangyayari sa inyo. Kaya ko ano nangyayari sa pamilya ninyo at magulo, eh baka ganun din ang turing natin sa misa, kaya ganun. Pero kung tayo nagsisimbang sama-sama, ang ating pamilya, mananatiling sama-sama. O sa ibang salita, ang pamilyang kumakain ng sama-sama, mananatili, sama-sama din. Oh, let us all stand to profess our faith.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation, he came, he came down, down from, from heaven. heaven. And by, and the, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I look forward to the, to the resurrection of the dead and, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Father, that our Eucharistic celebration may truly be a sign of unity, brotherhood, and sharing in Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. May the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, proclaim by their lives the meaning of the sacred mysteries they celebrate. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the body and blood of Christ heal all the divisions among the Christian churches and bind them together in love and service so that one day all may sit as one at the Eucharistic table. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us grow in faith through our service and be credible signs of God's presence to others. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the sick, the, elder, the elderly, the handicapped, and those burdened with trials and difficulties be comforted with the hope and presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters come to share the banquet of everlasting life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns for our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God, our Father, we thank you for the sacrament of our salvation. Help us to worship you with lives poured out in loving service for the sake of our brethren. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we hear present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the Jew thought, <coughs> so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim our death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, of our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. soul stand. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who saith your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace.
is new. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we might be lights for all eternity, in that share in your divine life which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat na nagsidalot na kiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia.
naway pagpatuloy niyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayo yung pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdadasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those who call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now kindly join me as we pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and God, earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.